so we've talked about the Logic plugin loader and we've talked about the Logic instrument loader, but we've really just scratched the surface on what we can do with this integration from Soundflow. And that's to be expected. There's 1300 commands and we're not gonna talk about all of them individually, but the power of Soundflow is really combining many, many functions into one using things like macros and scripts. So this video is gonna be more about combining functions and making a custom workflow of our own. So let's hop over to Logic and we'll get into it. We've got the main Logic deck loaded up onto the stream deck. We're gonna to go to the tracks area of this and we're going to add two mic tracks here. And these are just going to be some guitar tracks. So we'll name them EGTA and EGTB. We'll go ahead and route this to input three. And so now we've got, you know, two channels ready to go for our guitars. We can go to the track actions tab of the track area of the main deck and we can do create track stack to make a track stack and we'll call it EGT bus. Great. And then what if we want to color these? We can go to the color tab of the main menu and do track colors green. Cool. But I mean, it would be great to do all of that in one step. I mean, that would be ideal and a lot faster. So let's check that out in Soundflow now. Over in Soundflow, we're gonna go to the track functions package within the Logic Pro package to get to the create tracks command that we were just using on the stream deck. And we can go to audio, mic or line, and we will edit a copy. So the first thing you'll notice about these commands is that they have a lot of properties that we can adjust. And I don't want you to get too overwhelmed by that. You don't have to touch every single property. These are command templates, just like the instrument loader and the plugin loader, but there's just more template properties that you can adjust. And we're just gonna do a few of them. So we're gonna go to track count and just do two tracks and we're gonna make it audio input two and we're gonna do input ascending. So this will automatically do input two and input three by having input ascending checked. And that's it for ours. We're not gonna to touch any of the other properties. We're gonna leave them as they are. And we're gonna go hop over to the color package now. Great, so now let's add the color command to this. We can go to the colors package over here and scroll down. There's a lot of colors in Logic, which is great. I'm gonna find my green color, which this looks right. We're gonna edit a copy to make our own preset and we will go and name this CW for my initials and then EGT color and we're good to go. So to combine those two presets in Soundflow, we're gonna create what we call a macro to combine multiple actions into a single action. So let's go to our own package. I have this My Logic package here. You can do it in any package on your account. And we're gonna do new macro. We're gonna call this EGT create tracks, like so. And we're gonna go ahead and assign a trigger to it. So we're gonna do new trigger, keyboard trigger, and do record and control X. So this is just a way to quickly add a trigger to it. Now, anytime I hit control X, it's gonna fire this command from Soundflow. So let's hit add action to add our presets. I'm gonna do CW EGT tracks to do the first one for the create. And then we're going to add another action, CW EGT color. Great, now, now we have a macro. We can fire this off. It's gonna go and make two new tracks, color them green. They're routed to two and three like we want. That's a great start. So I'm just gonna clear this session out a bit and we're also gonna add the create track stack step to this. So let's add another action, search create track stack. Like so. And then we will also need to add one more action but I'll demonstrate that in just a second. So we're gonna fire this off. And you'll notice that it prompts us to either do a folder stack or a summing stack, but we can actually use the magic of Soundflow to hit that create button and get past the screen altogether. So let's do that. Back in Soundflow, we're just gonna add one more action to click the UI element. So we're gonna search for click UI element. And this is just a more generic Soundflow command that works with any application. You can use the UI element picker to pick a button or a menu to click with Soundflow. And we're just gonna use that to click the create button now. And we'll cancel out of that, clear that out and run it one more time. So it's gonna create our tracks, color them, and then make a track stack. 
all in one action. That's the beauty of sound flow right there. Combining four steps into one, it could have been a hundred steps, it doesn't matter. We're just excited that creating in Logic is now easier than ever and it's now more powerful than ever thanks to Soundflow.